What's up guys, Skid Warning Peach here. So now that I'm back home, I figured I would do a full New York Comic Con haul. So let's check it out. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I do hope you're enjoying your Monday. So like I said, I am now back home. Still feeling a little groggy from the trip and tired, but I wanna do kind of like a chill video and just go over some of the things that I picked up at NYCC, as well as some of the things some subscribers gave to me off camera that you guys didn't see. Now for our question of the day before we get started, drop a comment down below as to what you picked up for NYCC this year. So there weren't only just a Funko Pop exclusives, obviously the most popular thing here in my videos, but um, there were also fig pin exclusives. Foot Locker dropped some uh, early Crocs for Demon Slayer there, so those were kind of like an exclusive. There were other like enamel pins at the event and other cool collectibles, so let me know what you ended up picking up this year. Now some cool things I did want to show you guys that I picked up off camera was some new t-shirts here at a booth over at NYCC. So one was actually a Code Geass t-shirt here. So that one does say, what does it say? Immortal Witch, yes. C2 there with the Gios symbol on the side there. I actually really do love her. I did decide to get a large though, just because I wasn't sure if this was going to shrink. The quality of the shirt seems decent, but usually every time I buy a shirt, it shrinks after I wash it. So I bought a large just in case, but I really, really do like this shirt. And the other one I picked up, I was just overjoyed when they had this one because this was such a really cool one. And it's the worst generation there on a wanted poster for the t-shirt design and that is just so cool to me. So that was the little t-shirt haul. These were about, I think it cost me a total like 45 bucks for both of them, but not too bad at all. Okay, so some other things I picked up um, off camera, what was it? Oh, this was one of them, was the actual, oh wait. Oh, it's down here, sorry. <laughs> a lot of stuff here, but we actually got an Aaron Yeager Attack Titan pen here, if it will focus for you guys, there we go. Plastic Empire exclusive. So. A subscriber actually gifted this to me off camera. Um, they just walked up to me and gave it to me. So thank you so much. This is really awesome. So I'll add it to the collection. Now, something else that was a gift from a subscriber was this artwork on a pop, uh, pop armor, excuse me. And that was Wolverine with his claws through Magneto's helmet. And that was just so cool. So they actually made this because they saw that I got the, um, the Wolverine Grail pop. So I'm gonna take out this Maximilian here, but uh, that was also something I grabbed or I got from NYCC from Bailey. But anyways, his um, his little tag on Instagram, I think it's, yeah, it's right there. It's Pop Secret Customs. Hopefully you guys can kind of see that. It's a little small on that, but Pop Secret Customs is like on the top there. But yeah, if you guys want to check him out on Instagram, please go do it. He's really, really talented, as you can see. Take one more look there. Really awesome. So I actually grabbed my Wolverine. This is the one he was talking about that I grabbed recently. And it's like perfect for this pop stack now. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide this one in. And we have the pop and the artwork on the side and that looks so dope. Again, I do wanna say thank you so much for taking the time to make this for me. That's really, really awesome. And again, please do go check him out. Really, really nice dude. Now we ended up picking up a couple different fig pins as well. So one of them was Toge here from Jujutsu Kaisen. This is actually for a friend. But the other two that we picked up for our collection are limited to LE 1000, and that was Trafalgar Law there with that NYCC sticker and the Guitaro there. But yeah, guys, they didn't actually have Daki at their booth. I thought they were going to because they announced it on their Instagram, but she's actually on their website. So I am going to grab her a little bit later um, or maybe after this video while I'm remembering right now. But anyways, I did get at least one of them, which is really dope. So now something else we picked up, um, you guys probably saw this in a video the other day from my NYCC videos, which was the Weiss Schwartz cards for SAO. I've been looking for these for a while actually, and I almost bought them at the Kino store. Kino Kuni, I think that's how you pro pronounce that. But anyways, that's from yesterday's video. We went to like a big Japanese anime store. Really, really awesome. But um, I almost bought them there, but they were like $90 there, but I found them at the Comic-Con for 60. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do this. So I'm glad I waited. I didn't spend the extra 30 bucks because I would have been bummed. But anyways, very, very excited for these. So if you guys want to, at the end of this video, I think I'm gonna open up like a couple packs because somebody asked me and they said they're a big SAO fan, so I figured we'll do that for them. Um, and just a couple, I don't wanna make this video longer than it needs to be, but we'll open maybe like five packs at the end of the video if you're interested. Now something else I ended up picking up was Springtrap here, probably my most expensive piece that I did grab. So definitely really neat, awesome piece here. Uh, I do really, really like how this one turned out as well. And I didn't actually find, um, 
much FNAF, surprisingly. I'm not really sure what that was about. I thought people would have more because of the movie coming later this month. But yeah, there was not a lot of FNAF there. Another pop we ended up grabbing was Yami here. So this was actually a gift from Toy Temple. So thank you so much to them. Definitely going to be a nice addition to the Yu-Gi-Oh set up there. And the last thing we did purchase at NYCC at the event was this Psycho Pop from Borderlands. I actually haven't checked the collection yet to see if I own this, but I don't think I do. But this was really nice too, and only 25 bucks. Now, as you guys do know, I did actually, in fact, strike out online on the Funko shop trying to buy Luffy. That was the only one I was trying to add to the cart. I was getting payment errors left and right. And I'm sure a lot of you guys were experiencing the same thing. So I actually took to Mercari, ended up picking up one that someone bought at I guess Funko Hollywood or whatever. And I think I paid about like 80 bucks for a shared sticker, not too bad at all. Cause the official one's going for like two to 500, depending on who you buy it from. But yeah, so really, really cool there. So 80 bucks, I feel like that was a pretty decent price cause retail I think is like 30. So $50 more for one of the hottest exclusives. That's not bad at all to me. Uh, obviously I didn't want to pay resale, but you can't get them all. So that's okay though. So very excited for that. That's coming in the mail. And then I think I'm gonna pick up Dark Magician Girl over on Chow's Collectibles cause they have it for 20 bucks, which isn't bad cause she sold out on the Funko shop. And I'm still debating the Demon Slayer 2 pack. I'm not gonna lie, just because like, I like Sabito. I don't really care for uh, Makamo, her character too much. I just like Sabito. So it's like, do I want to buy the two pack and get both of them? Or do I just buy the common? I, I don't know. I might end up picking them because like it's still in stock at Box Lunch and on the Funko shop. I really thought that one would sell out. I'm not gonna lie, but it seems like they made a decent amount of them. Anyways, though, so far, as far as the NYCC exclusives, I only picked up Luffy on Mercari. Also thinking about Ichigo, but like, I have the original one that looks so similar to that one. So like, do I really need the new one? I don't, I probably won't grab it. But yeah, guys, I think that pretty much wraps up all of the NYCC stuff and exclusives that I did grab. Again, let me know in the comments below, did you guys grab anything this year, whether it was Funko Pops, Big Pins, or any other collectibles? I would love to hear from you guys and see what you grabbed. Okay, so at the end of this video, as promised, I am going to open up five of the packs for that subscriber who did ask. So let's go ahead and start with one. So I haven't looked at the pool list for this in a while. So we're just going to kind of be excited together and surprised together. So let's go ahead and open these up. Oh, these packs are much different than the One Piece ones. Okay. So I've never opened these up before. All right. So we have Wielder of Time Splitting Sword, Bertulli, Kirito, of course, Code of Midnight. We have Conquering Floors, One Boss, uh, Mito. Leafa, I love her. Ooh, Argo the Rat, Informant. Check that out. It's kind of shiny there. I don't really know what these uh, like specific shiny ones are called, like holographic, but again, I'll look that up after the video. And then we do have Kirito, SAO is no ordinary game. We have Asuna and Kirito there. Oh, and Yuki, pretty cool. And Misumi there. I think that's our fight. Wait, wait, Awakened Feelings. Oh, that's when they, uh, that's when they're falling after that boss, that dragon. And I think that's it, pretty cool. Okay, next pack here. So I'm not really pulling these packs for any like value per se. I just really enjoy SAO. So getting my hands on more merchandise for it outside of the Funko Pops is really nice. So I'm probably gonna keep a majority of these cards and just get rid of any duplicates. If I don't, you know, unless it's like a rare card of a character I don't care for, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. But we got another Mito. We got Kirito with both swords there, the Black Swordsman, love that. A new promise, Asuna. Another Mito, okay. Ooh, Silica, I like that card. Definitely a keep. We have another Yuki. Oh, we have Death Gun, that's dope. So they do have that season in these two. And Alice there, check that out. So fun fact, actually, I didn't really enjoy Alicization too much. But I do, I do like her Alice card, though. That is, that is really, really nice. Okay, next pack here. Again, sorry if I sound a little stuffy. I did come home feeling very groggy after the trip, so. Okay. Leafa here. Sago. Oh, I don't remember him. Is he, was he part of the, um, yeah, Dark Territory there. Okay, yeah, it's been a while. So I don't remember his face that well for some reason. Asuna. We have Gabriel. Oh, I'm sorry, I dropped one. It's all good. <laughs> Agil or uh, Tiffany. If you guys get that reference, that one's really nice. Ooh, Sinon, I love that. Sinon's actually my favorite female character in the uh, show. A little bit of a lewd Asuna card, I'll cover that up. Did not realize that was in there, sorry. 
And then we have beta tester Nito there. Ooh, I like this one though. Also, the reason I said I would cover that up is just because I know I have a younger audience, so I want to expose them to anything by accident. But yeah, that Leafa card's really nice too. All right, another pack here, second to last. Let's see what's in here. Okay, we got Visago again. New Promise Asana. A lot of dupes in this for sure. I already have a Starless Knight Asana. I did like that movie. Valuable Strength Kirito. Death Gun. Leafus Pure Wish. Ooh. We have Kirito. Uh, is his name Yuji? I think that's his name from Alicization. That's a really nice card. All kinds of cool characters there. And we have Alice and Kirito. Again, that one. Oh, are we going? Yeah, I think we're going through it again. Okay, last pack here, guys. So, if you uh, are wondering why I'm going through, like, the cards again by accident, it's because I'm actually used to opening some other packs that have way more cards in them than this one does. So, it's throwing me off a little bit because I'm used to having more cards in the pack. Okay, Happy Family, Yui, and Asuna. We have uh, Yuki and Asuna. Mysterious Smile Administrator. Wielder of Time Splitting Sword, Burkoli. I remember him. Sortelina, Sort. Tili Liena has an extra eye in there throwing me off. Lizbeth, <laughs> irreparable. Asana commanding strength. Ooh, I love that. Sinon, nice. Who's your favorite SAO character? If you are a fan of the show, let me know. But yeah, I think that is all of them. I really, really like that Sinon card. You know what? Just for fun, let's do one more. Just because I am enjoying ripping these. Oh, awesome. We got Klein. Love him. Even if it's a trap. Another Asana, Kirito, maybe some of the dupes Bailey might want. Sago, ooh, okay. So we have Ronnie and T.S. 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 However you say that name, but that's a really nice one. Okay, that's a little different design. Then we have another Kirito or Kazuto. He's named Kazuto, not Kirito. There's Asuna and Kirito and Yuki there. Well guys, that is everything for today's video. I did have a lot of fun opening up those cards and showing you off my haul. I do hope you guys have a great rest of your day, but for now, I do wanna say a big shout out to all the wonderful Patreon supporters of the channel. You guys rock for supporting myself and the channel. If you guys are interested and wanna check out the Patreon, the link is down below. We have a Patreon-only Discord where we share a lot of information, news, restocks, updates, links, and more. And lastly, make sure to be following me on all my social medias at Skin or Rampage over on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and my Facebook page so you can stay up to date. All right, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.